Okay, let's uh, let's unpack this. We've got this document here. It details a pretty significant event. Mm -hmm. This X 2.7 class solar flare hit Earth yesterday, May 14th, 2025. Yeah. So our goal in this deep dive is really to get a handle on what happened, the immediate uh, ripple effects, and maybe what this signals for the near future based on this info we have. Right. And what's really striking, I think, is how fast and how wide the impact was. Yeah. I mean, the document highlights it just minutes after the eruption from Sunspot AR-4087. Yeah. Boom. Widespread radio blackout. Minutes. Wow. Where exactly? The North and South America, Africa, Southeast Asia, the Middle East. Yeah. Pretty much huge swaths of the sunlit side. Okay, so this wasn't just like some static on your car radio. We're talking serious disruption. Yeah. High frequency communications. Um, exactly. Think uh, aviation, maritime communications, even ham radio operators would have felt ah. that immediately. Right. And it didn't stop there. The document mentions effects on satellites too. Satellites. Okay, that's GPS weather. Precisely. GPS, weather forecasting, lots of things rely on them. And it even triggered alarms in power grids around the world. Power grids too. So it gives you a real sense of the scale here. It absolutely does. Mm -hmm. Shows how you know interconnected everything is. Maybe how vulnerable. An X 2.7 flare. Now how yeah. how big is that in the grand scheme of things? Is that near the top? It's definitely strong. X class is the highest category. So X 2.7 is uh, certainly up there. Not the absolute most powerful we've ever seen, but significant. Significant, yes. And it came from this sunspot, AR 4087. That's the one. And what's uh, particularly noteworthy, the document points out, is that this spot has stayed really active. Meaning this wasn't just a one-shot deal. It kept going. Yeah, mentioned subsequent flares within hours of that first big one. Okay, so what does that tell us if it's still flaring up? Well, it suggests the region is highly unstable. And that raises a pretty big concern, actually, the experts uh, cited here. They're warning about potentially even more intense solar storms coming. More intense. Wow. Yeah. Um, and the document mentions the sunspot's position now. That's important. It's crucial. Yeah. AR-4087 is moving, rotating into a position where it's basically, well, facing Earth directly. It's directly in line with us. Exactly. So if it lets loose another major flare, especially a stronger one, from that position, the impact could be much, much more severe than what we just saw on the 14th. Right. Because the blast would be aimed straight at us. Precisely. You can imagine the disruption then. Yeah. Much greater potential for impact on satellites, power grids, communications. Okay, so let's recap. We had a major flare, X2.7, caused immediate widespread comms issues, satellite glitches, power grid alerts. Yep. And the source, this very active sunspot, AR-4087, is now pointed right at us. Mm -hmm. And experts are saying, watch out, there could be more, maybe bigger stuff coming. Suddenly our tech feels a bit fragile. That's really a key takeaway, isn't it? May 14th was a, let's say, a potent reminder of the sun's power over our tech heavy lives. Uh, okay. And with AR-4087 still active and now facing Earth, it really underscores the need to monitor this closely. Understanding the potential for stronger storms is uh, pretty critical right now. Right. So we saw the immediate effects, these disruptions, and now there's this looming potential as the sunspot swings around. Really makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah. How ready are we if something bigger hits? It really does. And I mean, that's the final thought to leave you with. Yeah. As we rely more and more, I mean, really rely on technology for everything. Yeah. And that's what does something like this mean? Yeah. How do we balance building all this amazing tech with, you know, preparing for these huge natural events that can just turn things upside down. Yeah. Something to consider.